<laughs> good day, good day. How the hawk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan. Oh, and guess what we got today? Yeah, we're going to take a look at it. We've uh, been bouncing this around. We're going to take a look at the Hot Wheels Land Rover Mark II. Yes, this little model uh, was acquired from Corgi by Mattel uh, back in um, the late 90s. So what happened was Mattel bought this little uh, casting and, and several others from uh, Corgi and uh, main, mainly uh, 164 scale. And uh, in 1997, they went ahead and they made it an official Hot Wheels Mattel casting. And uh, here it is. Uh, this is a number uh, 610. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. 610. Number 610. Collector number 610. And so, and then, and then I'm not really sure what Niner 5528 is about, uh, but that is a reference number that uh, they, um, oh yeah, there it is again. Collector 610. Um, so yeah, so anyway, so um, very, very cool. Uh, very, very short lived as a, a Hot Wheels. Uh, I guess they got their money's worth uh, and uh, moved on. So here's the back of the card and uh, collector tip. Here you go. This is, look at this, 95. Uh, they, uh, the uh, Treasure Hunt series was going. Yeah, 12 different cars. So there's a little tip for, um, yeah. Uh, you know, just a little history of, of Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels leading the way. Collect these 1997 model series for vehicles in each, each series. So there you go. Yeah, the Biff Bam Boom had uh, Land Rover series in there. And uh, what is this? Isn't this, uh, what series is this then? Oh, it must be the off-road styling, which is not one of the uh, series there. So, yeah, anyway, but, uh, yeah, there you go. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So it came out with this, uh, the blue card, uh, faded, faded blue card. And um, this would be, and, oh, I could say, uh, 1997, because it's got a 96 uh, um, uh, date on it. So this one card is the one with the uh, 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 Petty. Is it Richard Petty, 44, Hot Wheels leading the way? So look for the real Hot Wheels race car on TV. There you go. So anyway, so that was the first year that it came out. And uh, this is the uh, the first carded one. Now, mainly, mostly, and oh, let me get up here. Mainly and mostly, um, all the cards that you find are going to be with this... Um, I'm going to say it's like a Mustang thing on the back end there. Yeah, that's uh, kind of like a Mustang thing. But uh, anyway, a fantasy car there. But uh, that's what uh, mainly it uh, looks like. Now, I have looked high and low, and uh, I've only got one of these. I have several of these. As a matter of fact, this is all I have um, on the card. Uh, I have uh, uh, half a dozen or so loose. Um but uh, this is the only one that I have on uh, this style car. Now, it's got like a, I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, what do I want to say? Acura. It looks almost like an Acura or something on there. But this is Land Rover Mark II, uh, which is really kind of crazy. But then it has the uh, 1997 Mattel wheels on the bottom here. And the collector is still 110. So uh, guaranteed for life. So then you flip it over, and yep, there's that collector 110. Still uh, the collector tip. Uh, so yeah, uh, talking more about uh, collecting stuff. So there we go. Now this one does have uh, 1997 on it, so that's maybe as late as 98 is when this came out. So 
very kind of cool. But like I said, um, this is this is the only one I've that I've found. Uh, I really have not found um, any much more of this with the uh, full car on it. We'll call it. I mean, it's not even the same car. It's a totally different car, you know. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Uh, anyway, but uh, yeah, but same casting, same everything there, same wheels, same paint job, everything like that. You know, it. I mean, it's just the same thing. But uh, so I don't know if this one is, uh, you know, I don't know, worth more or rarer or what, whatever. I'm not really sure. Uh, there's not a lot of information out here on uh, this uh, bugger that I could find. So um, yeah, pretty pretty cool. So keep your eyes open for this one. You see one of these on the card, pick it up. That's my uh, my collector advice for you. All right, what we're going to do is going to take a look at the next um, time we saw this. And uh, this is kind of a small part of my collection. As you see, I got three of them here and only three because these are kind of hard to come by. Um, here it is. This is uh, Hot Wheels HEB limited edition. It's got our uh, friend up there, the uh, service department, the 110. And then it has the spirit of HB, HEB um, highway hauler on there. And this is 19890. Uh, so yeah. And then let's flip this around. Um, let's see. Let's see. What do we got? Uh, collect these 97. So here it is, 97 is on the uh, card. So this maybe came out in 98 or so, or uh, maybe the full year of 97. But anyway, so they did a limited run of these. Um, there, I, I'm not sure exactly Hot Wheels for the two card. I'm not really, I mean, today they've got two and three threes and, you know, six and nines and 50 packs, you know, uh, so... Uh, I couldn't really find a lot of uh, information about this as well, but they did do a series. Oh, I'm sorry. What is HEB? HEB is a grocery store down in the Texas area. And uh, actually, I worked with a friend of mine and she she was, uh, well, she went down to Texas with her husband and then she came back without him. But anyway... <laughs> But anyway, she liked the HEB, the big chain of superstores down there. As far as I know, they are still running and uh, still going full force. I don't know for sure if they're really tagged up with the uh, Hot Wheels anymore to do this. But but there you go. So that was the next year uh, that we saw it. And Well, actually, I think this one, yeah, this one is 97 as well. Same, same card back and everything. Uh, but this one now was a Hot Wheels... Right Aid, which is a limited edition. We still got our tall boy there, our defender looking proud, and and uh, yep. Yeah. So uh, what is that? For your life, Right Aid's got it. There you go. So oh yeah, it says right on the truck. For your life, Right Aid's got it. Right Aid. So Right Aid is like a. Um, they do carry some grocery stores, but it's more or less a. Um, uh, pharmacy type store, you know, they, you go get your medicine there, but you can get ACE bandages, but I think they also sell like, like cards and, you know, other kind of, uh, things like that. And apparently toys. So there you go. So that was uh, 97 is when that came out. Then the last time that we, uh, saw a two pack, as far as I know, now notice that they changed the uh, card See, uh, so we're gonna go, oh, 98, because it's got this bottom on there, um, like uh, like this card. So we've tripped over on the uh, whole card layout. And uh, let's, let's look right back here real quick. Uh, 98, it says on there, so 98, 99 is when this came out. Uh, little bit different card back, advertising more of their track. You know, so yeah, pretty cool there. So this one here is uh, Kroger's and uh, quality guaranteed. And it's still the uh, highway hauler there. Uh, you can see the number there for that one, 20784. And a uh, nice little touch of the blue flame there or the red flame. But um, 
Yeah, so Kroger's is a grocery store, period. And actually, uh, not too long ago, uh, we had the uh, Kroger exclusive. The uh, Kroger exclusive, which is, uh, well, this bugger right here. Yeah, so they're still uh, partners together and stuff like that. Kroger is uh, up north here, not quite far north as I am in the United States. Uh, southern, more... Uh, southern Wisconsin has Kroger's and stuff like that uh, but yeah so they they came out with uh, their um, kind of like Target uh, and um, oh it used to be Kmart but they, they now it's kind of GameStop but anyway this is a Kroger Kroger uh, exclusive Land Rover so this is the latest there so pretty pretty neat all right well there you go um, yeah keep your eyes out for these these can uh, uh, demand for pretty good money, especially on the package. Well, if they're not on the package, you don't know if it was a two-pack or not. But these highway haulers are big um, collectible items uh, for a lot of uh, Hot, Hot Wheels collectors, so they're hard to come by. So, yeah, there it is. We take a recap of the Land Rover. Well, which would be the... Land Rover Mark II, but what we'll call it today, the Defender uh, 110 van, and uh, actually, yeah, that's what it was back in the uh, Corgi days. It was a van uh, truck, and they put a lot of uh, liveries Corgi did on there, so uh, Matchbox only did one, which is too bad, uh, but now, uh, you know, they're on to the new one. Uh, do I do I have it here? Oh yeah, here I got it. This is the new one. So this, I would say this is taking over that, you know, and hopefully they're going to take off and do a whole bunch of stuff with this one. So yeah, really kind of cool. Uh, interestingly enough, from, um, from, um, Corgi to Land, uh, to Mattel, they kept the same license plate that our GW404. I'm not really sure what reference that was uh, for Corgi, but they kept the same license plate. Uh, you know, they just changed the bottom. It used to say Corgi. Actually, Corgi was up here, made in uh, Great Britain, was down there. So, but anyway, so there you go. That's the uh, passing of the torch. This is our, this is our boy now, and uh, looking sharp. So very heavy. This is all die cast. You know. So, uh, yeah, cool, cool. All right, that's it. I got to get out of here. Uh, take a look at the Hot Wheels Mark Land Rover Mark II, collector number 610. I'm your friend Dan O, and I'm out of here. Thank you for joining me. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe. Come on over to Facebook, Roverland, and uh, Instagram, Roverland Channel. All right, that's it. Slow traffic, keep right. And have a great Rover Day!